Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Stand by. Very cool. What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Do you know what this is? This is beer review number 300. 300. 300 beer reviews that's, on this channel. That's kind of crazy. I'm kind of eh, sort of excited about that. That's, I mean, 300 that's a beer lot reviews, of though. Like, but when you talk, like, when you think about it, like, there's some people who have, like, have 2,000 beer reviews. 300 is not really, like, crazy, but. Yeah, but they post, like, four reviews, five reviews a day. That's true. But that's, I mean, congrats, dude. That's... Yeah, no, I've only, I mean, I think I've been doing beer reviews for, like, a year and a half or something. Mm -hmm. So we got to 300 sort of quickly. It's impressive. Yeah. Oh. And I've been holding on to this beer for a while. Mm -hmm. I wanted to share this with. Somebody awesome, and you are that somebody, and I'm so is Blaine. Sorry, somebody awesome couldn't be here. No, yeah, <laughs> I just I I have traded for this when it first uh, was released, and I just held on to it. And we've been yeah. talking about it in the bangers chat. So uh, this is the one and only a Bourbon County Rare. Peter just did this. Did he? The Master of Hoppets for beer review number. It might have been two thousand. I don't know if I watched that. Was it two thousand? Mm. He just he just reviewed. It might have been beer I'm review sorry, number two thousand. If you watch this, I didn't watch that. One. I'm saying he just reviewed this and loved it. I think it, it might have been beer review number two thousand for him. I'm like, crazy. oh yeah, you have two thousand and I have three hundred. <laughs> like that's how horrible I am. But that's awesome. Man. So yeah, this is a what is like what's the ABV on this? You reviewed this on your channel, the private channel. Does it not say the alcohol? Uh, it should right here, and I think it's rubbed off. Oh shit! Damn it! I think it's like thirteen ish, fourteen ish, right? Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, Bourbon County is fourteen thirty. So. I think it's this is probably like around. Yeah, it's there's nothing on there. Look at that. Yeah. It's rubbed off. So there you go. Um, shout out to my man Eric Wood, who's no longer doing beer reviews anymore. R.I.P. R.I.P. We just killed the club. He doesn't do reviews anymore. Uh, we did a trade for this a long, long time ago. Yeah, right so, when it came out. Yeah, right when it came out. The box is outside somewhere. I can find it probably for a picture, but whatever. Yeah. Um, stout aged in bourbon barrels. This is aged in 30, what is it, 32 year old bourbon? Heaven's Hill. 35 year old barrels? He 35 Heaven's Hill yeah. barrels. So this is probably, I don't know what this the, is. The claim to fame is these are the Heaven's Hill barrels that they kind of like lost track of. Yeah, they like randomly found them, right? Yeah, and somehow Goose Island was like, I got that AB in the money and we Do you got think this barrels. is infected? Hashtag infected, there's no way it is. It was, so in fairness to them, this beer was bottled and brewed completely differently than everything else that they did for this year's release. Um, in fairness, I have reviewed this. Yeah, and you liked it, right? I loved it. Gave it a fairly good grip. <laughs> There's, it's not like, no, not a huge head, so I, I think we're okay. I can smell it yeah. from here. It smells like booze. <laughs> um, yeah, so Rare is... So I've had OG Rare, which is 2010 Rare, mm -hmm. and this, and they're both... I can smell that from here. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. And when you and I were in Vegas, uh -huh. and we drank, was it SR-71 or Assassin? One of those, you said, it kind of was remind, like reminiscent, sort of, of Rare. It did. Um, like, elements. Right. Like, not overall, I thought... Anyways. No. Yeah. I, there's elements of those beers that remind me of this beer. This beer I'm so. excited for this. Yeah. I really am. So when I swirl this, like it, you just get like sort of like that quarter finger of like kind of cola head, cola-ish head. Um, it's pitch black. Yeah. There's alcohol. I mean, there's no bleed. bleed. There's no ruby bleed on the edge or anything. Yeah. Like it, that. Just, it's, like, it just like it just it just falls right down the glass. Edge. And there's alcohol lakes for days, so. Yeah. I could smell that when we opened it. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Jesus. <laughs> so, like, this reminds me of, like, the first time I smelled, like, Bourbon County. Yeah, it's... The nose is huge. Bourbon. It's fucking huge. This was... So, we're in August. So, we're close to a year old with this, right? Well, Black Friday. So, but this was this was bottled September, so this is about a year old. Yeah, a year old. Yeah, this was I think like a September, like second week of September. And the nose is massive. Well, so the way I always describe this beer, and I don't know why, but I do it every time somebody asks me. Um, it's like a bourbon with beer characteristics. Like, this smells like like if you drink bourbon, this smells like I just stuck my nose in like a finger or two of bourbon. Yep. It's, it's like sweet, dark fruits. 
but it's warm. Like they're you're getting bourbon. Super yep. warm. But like you said, there's like figs, there's raisins. It's fish. chocolate, like fudgy yeah. kind of chocolate. Some vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. There's like that barrel kind of oaky thing. But it's hot. Yeah, like, it's, it's like this is hot. sat for a year and it's still warm. Wow. Like this is what you want out of like a huge imperial stout though, right? Yeah, like so I keep like setting mine down and like giving my nose like a minute to kind of reset because it is so yeah. forward. <clears throat> I've said this a couple times tonight. Like, we've been drinking barrel-aged beers. Like, when you inhale it, it's, like, in the back of your throat. Oh, yeah. it, it's warm. Big twinge, but, yeah. Big dark fruits. Big yeah, there's, like, some caramel in there, like, kind of toffee-ish. And there's even, like, some tobacco. Like, yeah. some, like, pipe tobacco. Burnt barrel. <laughs> it smells fucking awesome. Which is cool, because... The last Bourbon County bottle that I opened was a November bottle, and I drank for it because it smelled like fucking pennies. Yeah. I mean, I was really wor- not worried about this bottle, but I'm like, it just would suck if this was something. Yeah. Wrong I think with. we're pretty much on board that this is good to go. This smells amazing. Yeah. This smells so good. So let's go and taste it. See well, what it like tastes like after a year. You don't have any years. So. Happy 300. Babe. Cheers to 300 beer reviews, and thanks to all you guys for watching. Like right when it hits your tongue, big beer. Again, every time I talk about this beer, it That's is, it so is bourbon with beer characteristics. That is huge. Just it follows the nose. It's a huge, huge flavor. Boozy bourbon. Like it's it's kind of like that uh, great the barley one that we drank. Like yeah. burnt sugar, caramel, toffee, mm-hmm. chocolate. Like you said, tobacco-y kind of leather things. Yeah, but let's not hide it. This is a hot fucking beer. And it's warm. It's This is a bourbon-forward yes. beer. Yeah. Um, but I will say, like, out of the other big beers that we've had, it's not crazy chewy no. full. And this is a thin It's a finished beer, which is the only kind of setback. But yeah. when you're talking flavor-wise, this beer is fucking it's delicious. Explosive. It's a huge beer. Like, that's what you want when you open a big Imperial Stout. A big bourbon-aged Imperial Stout. There's a lot going on in this beer. This is a I don't want to go to sleep, I want to pass out Mm -hmm. beer. It's it's so... It's sweet, it's vanilla, it's... Vanilla. I I hate to say it, it's toasted coconut, it's dark fruits, it's burnt leather. Like figgy, raisin, leathery, tobacco-y. But then it's... But it it is warm going yeah. down, but it is so I, I keep it to, like every time I drink this I'm like it's bourbon with beer characteristics. Beer is massive. It's a huge beer. It's so flavorful. Really, really good. I've drank quite a bit of like 2014 and 15 Bourbon County, and I had <clears throat> what was uh, we drank Prop 14. We drank Prop 15. Mm-hmm. I think this is. As far as like a barrel aged Bourbon County beer, this is probably my favorite. Really? Yeah, it's huge. It is. Like I, I really, I, so I really like when it comes to Bourbon County. I love that fudginess, and there's not as much fudginess as like in this one. But I love just how in your face and massive it's this crazy. is. It's just a huge beer. It's, You've said it a few times. It's huge. It's it's a big big beer. I like that. Which is crazy for how kind of finish it is. Yeah. But like it's it's like you're sitting here and like I poured two fingers of like a yeah. great like Heaven's Hill or something. Yep. And I'm drinking. And then threw like a little bit of stout in there. Yeah. It's just fucking really really good. There's just so much going on like flavor wise with this. I could get like if somebody I could get the argument if somebody was a huge Bourbon County fan and had this and like I don't like this as well. Mm-hmm. And I would understand why. Yeah. But the only it, thing missing from this is like that big chocolatey fudgy thing. Yep. Yeah. Which is missing, but it adds so many other things that don't exist in you, regular bourbon. County. You're not getting as much like of the booze, the in your face kind of barrel vanilla woody thing that you get from regular bourbon county. This, yeah, this is delicious. It's enormous. This, this beer is enormous. This is a huge beer. This is a beer like if you pop this by yourself, you would be hosed. Oh, you'd like, be halfway fucking through. hammered. Yeah, jamón con queso. Con queso. Con cheese. Probably uh, non-Spanish speakers <laughs> or something. Um, 
I love, I really, really like this. Like, if this could get on that huge, chewy, like, creamy, thick mouthfeel, like, you'd be going, like, we talked about it when we drank SR71, you are like, this kind of has elements of yeah. Urban County Rare. Just big, over, like, explosive flavors. If they could somehow get that crazy, chewy, thick mouthfeel, like, people would lose their fucking mind over this beer. It's insane. This is so good. Yep. This is everything that I hoped it would be. And drinking this almost a year later, like, I can't believe still how warm it is. Like, yeah. when you drank this the first time, it had to have been, like, crazy hot, Super hot, right? but, yeah. like, I had a bottle of OG Rare, so, like, 2010 Rare, like, a year and a half ago, and it was still big, huge, and hot. Yeah. Which is crazy. But it just shows you the care they put into it. Yeah. Hashtag non infected. Hashtag no infection. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Do you remember what you graded this? Yeah. What'd you give it? <laughs> it was Hunnitz. Um, I mean, for me, I, I'm with you. I, I think this is one of, when you're talking about like top tier mm-hmm. bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts, this is up there with all of them. The only detractors it's then. Yeah. But does that sure fall? Like everything else that it does insanely well, kind of cover that up. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't know if this is a beer that you can make crazy, crazy, crazy thick. Because if you did that, the roastiness and everything you did to that would kind of offset how bourbon forward this beer is. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about, I like the in-your-face bourbon character. Crazy. If you're if you're a bourbon person, this is like I like the barrel. This isn't quite like. This is a, di- and, and the way I would describe this, it's a different level of bourbon forward than like an ape, like Uncle Jacob's, which is just fucking it's straight hot. fire. Like it burns on the way down. Whereas this is like in your face flavorful with it's warm going down. You're getting that warmth, but you still have all those layers and depth yeah. with flavors. Which Uncle Jacob's isn't, like that's a chocolate bomb, but like it's and it's But different. it's so hot, it covers up a lot of anything else you would taste. Yeah. Whereas this, like, you get all those flavors, like the dark fruits. The vanilla. Even it just sits like you're getting that, like, woody kind of oaky barrel, just crazy vanilla thing. This is fucking awesome. I love this. This beer's killer. I have no problem giving this in. No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just as good as Bourbon County. It's right, and Bourbon County, County is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite styles, yeah. and I give that beer 100. So, I mean, this is that and a 32-year-old fucking bourbon barrel. Yep. So, it's like, is it, it's crazy. Awesome, awesome stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I got to share this with you. Yeah. So, cheers to 300 beer reviews. Um, if you guys had the 2015 Bourbon County Rare, leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Yeah. This is his second time drinking it. Or, is this oh, your second time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. First one I drank by Yeah, and it was, I mean, this is probably, is it just as good as the first time you had it? Right. Is it different? No, it's really similar. Pretty this is well. I told you when we did SR, like yeah, there are very similar characteristics. I think SR adds like a, it's it's like we've talked about with IPAs. Like this is a hundred, this is a hundred, right. but like this one, it's like Julius is a hundred, but then you drink King J- 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 Julius, and you're right. like, this just takes it to like a, a stratosphere that doesn't exist yet. Um, and that's kind of lots of vanilla in that too, as it kind of just sits on your tongue. There is so like something like SR is like. It's like the rating systems don't do it justice. Right. Whereas, like this, when you're putting it up against Bourbon County and like beers, you would give 100. This is this beer is insane. It's amazing. If you got a hold of one of these, you're blessed you're to be able to do it. Yeah, you're it's, you're pumped. I just I can't imagine this like being like that chewy, chocolatey, brownie, fudgy thing. Like if that was it, this could be the best out if, ever. If you could get Goose Island to like triple mash and do a rare like, yeah. in a couple of years, like that would go for that huge. Would be fucking insane. Yeah. So yeah, it's hun. It's this is crazy so yeah cheers to 300 beer reviews uh, like I said if you guys have had 2015 rare leave a comment below let us know what you think um, we're out of here I think we're gonna we might drink some more beers I don't know I heard that's a thing that might happen so uh, yeah until next time we will see you guys later cheers bro cheers can I I, I just want to bring this it's up still recording <laughs> Well, I just want to bring this up real quick. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.